Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got another new at the drugstore haul for you guys today and I know that you really enjoy these videos and I really enjoy making them. I think that we just like love drugstore makeup and we get so excited about new things coming out in the drugstore. So I have been on some wild goose chases lately and Sweet Timothy has been on a lot of them with me. So high five to him. Thank you to him. He's my little partner in crime on this, looking for these goodies. So I'm gonna have some little first impressions and mini reviews on some of this stuff. Um, like I said, I'm already like still looking for other things, so there may be another round of new at the drugstore video idge video haulage coming soon. Um, and then I may do some more in-depth reviews on a couple of these things. And one thing I've already re reviewed. So anyway, lots to talk about. So let's get to it. So a couple of new mascaras. First off, this one I've already done a video, like a demo and review on this one. This is the Maybelline Volume Express Mascara, the Colossal Chaotic Lash. Um, just in a nutshell, I like this, but I don't follow the instructions because I don't necessarily want clumpy, chaotic lashes. I don't know. That would that idea would have to kind of like grow on me. I don't know about that. But anyway, check out that review if you want to see this in action. And then um, this one is from CoverGirl. This is the Super Sizer. I've been using this for a while, so I just kept the um, outside packaging to show you. But this is by the Lash Blast line, which they can do no wrong in my mind. I love CoverGirl mascaras. I love Lash Blast mascaras. They don't smudge on me and get up on my eyelids. So that's why I love them so much. They're great. They're volumizing. I think they are just awesome mascaras. I love them. I'm so glad they always like come out with new ones. That's exciting. And then I found a couple of things at Walmart. So there was a display for a hard candy like limited edition collection. That's where those like heart shaped highlighters were. But I didn't get one of those just because I don't know, they didn't really intrigue me once I saw them in person. But I did get um, one of their uh, lip glosses. These are the Daring lip glosses. And this color is limited edition, I think, which is sad because it's really pretty. This is in Pussycat. It's a really cute, like, just fuchsia pink. I do like these um, lip glosses because they're pigmented and they're comfortable. But this color is really cute. Like, why does it have to be limited? Oh, that's so pretty. So I really do like that one. And this was, I think, um, it was five or six dollars. So special display. I've only seen that at one Walmart. And then this is the Rimmel Keep Calm and Lip Balm. It says moisturizes, hydrate, and then at the bottom it says keep calm and rock. Is that the color I got? I guess that's the color I got. Um, but I got the kind of like fuchsia color. Um, this is okay. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the baby lips, which aren't really my favorite, to be honest. I think that they're just kind of okay. I know some people love them, um, but I, you know, they're okay. Um, this is like, I mean, it's like a lip balm in that it's not super pigmented. It's just kind of like a tinted lip balm. It does feel moisturizing and comfortable, but it has a strange scent to it. That's what I don't like about it. It's, I don't even, it's like chemically fruit and candy chemical candy, which that's probably not good. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's okay, but I wouldn't really necessarily recommend this. I think this was $2.50, like two for $5. So not a bad price, but just kind of okay. And then at CVS, I came across the Dolce Bronze collection. So I got three of the five products. They also had a lip gloss and a nail polish, but the lip gloss was sold out, so I couldn't get that. And then the nail polish was I have a lot of nail polish. So anyway, this is the bronzer. I think that this was like $9.99, so it is expensive, um, but it's nice. And all the products are labeled Dolce, so that's the color on all of them. So th this is the Dolce bronzer, there's the Dolce lipstick, there's the Dolce eyeshadow, blah, 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 blah. It's all Dolce. And I do have a blog post on um, a bunch of these products, so if you want to see more like still shots and more swatches and things like that, pictures of all that, I'll link those down below. But anyway, back to this. This was, um, I think, around $9.99. It's really pretty. Um, I really do like the bronzer. These are both matte powders. The bronzer is a pretty warm-toned bronzer, but I like it. I think it's pretty for um, summer. This highlighter color, it's kind of like, I don't really know what to do with you kind of a situation because it's very kind of peachy and it's a little bit dark for my skin tone to be like a highlight. So I used it like underneath my contour today, kind of as like a reverse contour type situation, which I think worked okay. Um, 
but I don't know. I, I do like this for the bronzer alone. These are really nice and buttery. They blend really nicely. They are pretty pigmented, so I would say, you know, if you use that highlighter underneath your eyes, I would say go sparingly because I bet it could get kind of cakey. And then this is the um, eyeshadow. This is in Dolce also. It's a really beautiful rose gold eyeshadow. I love this. And on my blog post, um, I compare this with Bella Gold and Bella Bronze, so you can see how this kind of compares to that. But isn't that pretty? Such a gorgeous rose gold color. Oh my gosh, I love it. Some people ask why I look over here. It's because um, I'm looking at the swatches so I can like explain what it looks like to you so that I'm not doing this because I'll either do this or I do this. So I just, I look over at my monitor. So anyway, I love that. Such a pretty color. And then this lipstick. I don't know about this, guys. I don't know. It's very metallic. It's extremely metallic. Don't call me Jessie um, on Instagram, Jess. She like makes me want every lipstick ever created because they all look beautiful on her. So she has a picture wearing this and it looks incredible on her. And then I tried it on and I'm like, I don't know if I can pull it off like she does because it's very metallic. Like you can see, it's a rose gold, but it's kind of like a burgundy sort of rose gold. But when it catches the light, I mean, it's it's very metallic. So. I don't know, maybe I'll put a picture on Instagram um, wearing it so that you guys can kind of tell me. But I don't know about this. I don't know. I think the lipstick was um, like $5.50 or around $5 and I think this was around $4.50. And then at Walgreens I saw a display for these. These are from Alme. I really haven't gotten anything from Alme in a long time other than I like their um, Butter Kiss lipsticks. Is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called. I like those, but other than that I really haven't been into their stuff recently. So these are the, I wanted to give them a try. These are the intense eye color and then they had different options for different eye colors. So there was like an everyday neutrals, like a smoky look and then kind of like a party eye palette. So I got the everyday neutrals for blue eyes. Um, the like party and smoky ones were very blue and I, I like blue eyeshadow but I don't wear it a lot. So I went with this one. The packaging on this is cool looking. It's kind of like I don't know, modern looking. Um, it comes with a little, you know, applicator that kind of fits the packaging, so that's kind of cute. But these are just kind of okay. I mean, I would say that these are, I don't know, average to slightly above average for drugstore eyeshadows is how I would describe them. They're just, I don't know, they're a little bit powdery and once I get them on my eyes, they're not crazy pigmented. Like when I get them swatched here, they look okay. I'm wearing these on my eyes today. They look actually a lot better in swatches, but when I get them on my eyes, I don't know, I think they're just kind of okay. There's nothing wrong with them, but they're just not super pigmented. Um, so I'm not wowed by them. I don't know. Not bad, but not amazing. And I think this was around eight, 50 or $9. It was close to $9. So I just, I don't think I love it for $9. I would rather get something else. I'd rather get more Wet n Wild eyeshadows or a L'Oreal Infallible. I don't know. It's, it's okay. Then at Walgreens, I found a big display for a lot of new CoverGirl products, which is exciting. So first I have a couple of new lip products. This is the Jumbo Gloss Balm Creams and I got it in Caramel Cream. I was really excited about this because I love jumbo lip pencils. I think they're just so easy and fun. And when I swatched this, I was like, woo, I was excited when I first swatched it. And swatching it now, it looks beautiful. It's a really pretty, just easy, wearable, kind of peachy shade. But when I got this on my lips, it was really unforgiving. It kind of surprised me. It like, accentuated every dry patch on my lips and just really did not look cute. So I don't think that I love this. I don't know if it's just the color that I got or what, but it was, um, I think it was around $8.99 or $8.50 or so, something around there. Um, but then it was like buy one, get one half off or something when I bought it. So made it a little bit more affordable, but I just, I don't think it's that great. And I don't know if it's just the color or what, but that's kind of borderline a fail for me. 
And then this is the um, Outlast Longwear Plus Moisture, and I got it in the color Fireball. I really like this lipstick. I think the packaging is really pretty. It's very kind of like modern looking. This is nice. It's pigmented, it's creamy, it wore well, comfortable. I love this color. I like this a lot. I would get more of these lipsticks. I would recommend these for sure. And that color is just like so fun and bright. I'm excited about that. So I would say that these are a win, but these are pricey too. These were like yeah, $8.99 for this. That's expensive, but I don't know. I feel like so many drugstore brands are getting pricey with their lip products, which is a bummer, but that is really nice. I mean, it does, it does what it claims with the long wear and the moisture. I think it's very comfortable and very long wearing. And then this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Natural Glow Foundation. So I got it in $8.25. It's what I'm wearing on my skin today. I'm liking this so far. So if you wanna see an in-depth review, like in a demo of me trying this on, let me know and I could do that for you. But so far I think I'm liking this and I'm a little bit surprised. Um, honestly, my skin is getting more, I don't know, it's more on the combination side than oily. So I'm starting to be able to use more kind of luminous or at least, um, it can't be super dewy, but if it's just slightly dewy, like on the satin side, I'm usually okay with it. So I'm, I'm liking this so far. Let me know if you wanna see a review. And then I have been driving myself and probably Timothy crazy, trying to find the 10 new Maybelline Creamy Matte colors. I've found two of them so far, at least when I'm filming this video. So once I find all of them, I'm gonna try to track them all down so I can do a whole video with lip swatches and everything for you guys. But these are the two that I have as of right now. I love these lipsticks. They are so comfortable. I'm wearing one of them right now. They're just some of my favorite matte lipsticks ever. I think they're great. Um, this is in 686 Pink Sugar. I do have swatches of these on my Instagram. Um, I haven't done a blog post on these, but I do have pictures on Instagram. So if you wanna see them, swatch there. So Pink Sugar, and then this one is Vibrant Violet. That's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Ooh, I think it's so much fun. <sighs> These are incredible. And if you find them at Walmart or Target, they're like $5.50. So they're so affordable. So Pink Sugar, violent, vi Vibrant Violet. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Yeah, Vibrant Violet. That's hard to say. But anyway, I love these colors. I think they're so pretty. I can't wait to find the other ones. Ugh. I've been hearing that they're just popping up at Walmart, but I bet that they'll start, I'm gonna guess Target will be next. So anyway, and that's the place to find them since they're cheaper. Love these lipsticks. And then also at Walmart, I found the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB. It says eight in one beauty balm, sun-kissed glow perfecter. And I got it in the color 10 light medium bronze. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with this. Um, I mean, I think it says it illuminates, warm skin tone, evens, veils imperfections, helps protect with SPF 25, hydrates, smooths, refreshes. But it's very bronzy colored, very bronzy. So I'm like, I don't, I, I, this, I'm not that color. So I'm like, what am I gonna do with that? I don't know. This was like 744. So, I mean, I might mix that with like some foundations that are a little bit light on me when I sunless tan. So, other than that, I'm really not sure. I mean, when you blend it in, it becomes kind of like, like I'm blending it down here, it becomes kind of like just a glowy kind of a bronze. So I do think it would work with a lighter foundation. But other than that, I think it's just kind of an interesting product that kind of makes me scratch my head, like I'm not sure what to do with it. But if you've tried this, let me know what you found works with it. I don't know. And then Smarty Face products, these are from Maybelline. These are the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation. It says titanium dioxide sunscreen with Actyl C, oil-free. So I had to get it in porcelain 10 and also 15 ivory. Because if you look at this ivory, this is super dark and super pink for being an ivory. So this one, the porcelain is too light for me and ivory is too dark and too pink. So together they work, but um, by themselves, neither color works for me. So just kind of know that, that the colors are a little bit strange 
on the lighter of end of the spectrum. And then I got the concealer as well, Concealer Plus Corrector it says. Um, and I am wearing this concealer today, and I'm liking it so far. This is in Ivory 10. They didn't have 20 in stock, but I'm guessing it would be maybe light, but that one might work better for me, especially when I'm sunless tanning. This will be too light, probably. Um, let me know if you wanna see a review on these. I'm still deciding. The concealer I think I like, but I'm still deciding on the foundation. But if you wanna see a review and a demo where I kinda of show you all my skin, let me know because it's just a little bit interesting. I'm not sure what I'm thinking about it yet, so let me know, I can do that for you. So those are all the new releases that I've gotten recently, but I do have some random. So if you wanna watch this portion, then cool. These are not new things, but just other stuff that I've picked up from the drugstore. So I got some of these Paparazzi nail polishes from CVS. This is in the color Quiet on the Set, and this one is in Just Beachin'. So I thought those were both really cute. These, these kind of like remind me of like bridal nails or something. And then this just looks like a really fun blue. So I got those. Um, I got another one of the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Balm Stains. This is in Radioactive. I guess it's a semi-new, so this could be included as a new in the drugstore because I think this is a newer color. Isn't that a really pretty red? And these do stain. I mean, they really, really do. Sometimes they stain darker than what they look, which I don't like about them. These are not my favorite lip pencils, um, lip crayon type deals, but I just really love that color. One of you guys gave me a recommendation for this, and I love it. Such a pretty shade. Then I got another Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow stick, and this is in Bad Girl Bronze. I love these eyeshadow sticks. I think they are beautiful. So creamy, such a nice formula from um, Walmart. These are like $4.50, so they're really affordable, and they're just great eyeshadow pencils. Isn't that a pretty dark bronzy color, like a chocolatey bronze? I love it. And then finally, I got a couple of concealers from a Walmart that I'm not normally in, because my Walmart, I don't think I've ever spotted these. These are the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect Plus Radiant Glow Concealers. And they were around $4.50, so really affordable. Um, I got them in Very Fair Light and then Light. So you can see, I think they're gonna both work for me, but I think it's gonna kinda depend on what I'm trying to conceal and if I've been sunless tanning or whatnot, um, cause I've kind of, I'm kind of like right in between them. Because Very Fair Light is lighter and more yellowy colored, and then um, Light is a little bit darker and more pinky salmon-y toned. So yeah, I'm excited to see what those are like. Um, so far I've tried them one or two times and I'm liking them so far, I'm still forming an opinion, so I'll let you know. All right guys, that's everything that I've picked up in the drugstore recently. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know what you have been picking up in the drugstore recently, what you're thinking about those products. Let me know if you wanna see a review on either of those foundations. I can definitely do that for you. Um, ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.